Hi guys, it's me, me, just the person who will be a straight A student if K-pop was a major. So, I'm here to do something a little bit different than I usually do. I saw this video on YouTube from this other K-pop reaction channel. They are called K-Junkies here on YouTube. They are one of my favorite reactors uh, on YouTube and they had this video where they ranked Luna's like pre-debut solo songs and I thought that's a fucking good idea and I want to do it <laughs> so this is not an original idea whatsoever um all credits to them truly um yeah so please actually pause my video and go watch their video <laughs> before watching mine because I want I don't want to take credit for somebody else's idea if that makes sense I don't know it's probably been done before though ranking Luna solo songs I don't know but anyways that's where I got my inspiration from so if you didn't know I did a Luna series on my channel like a couple of months ago where I I did 50 episodes where I reacted to so much that Luna has done. Also, obviously, their solo songs, all their songs from the group, like B sides, title tracks, I watched dance covers, specials, they everything. Um, but I want to rank their solo songs. That sounds like fun. And I have written down <laughs> my list. Um, it was hard. It was so freaking hard. I had to like weigh them up against each other and it was so freaking difficult. Uh, well, not place number one, two, three. That was quite easy. But from there on, dude. Uh, but I'm very excited. And what I'm planning on doing is obviously going from place 12 to 1. Uh, because 1 to 12 is just very anti-climatic, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, so starting with 12, working my way up to my favorite one. And I'm also gonna like watch music video until like right after the first chorus so that, so that we can enjoy some parts of each song together. Right, if that makes sense. So that is my plan for this video and yeah, I love doing videos like this where it's like, <laughs> I almost said like non-scripted. My videos are not scripted, but they're always the same. I have an intro, I react to a music video and I have an outro, that's it. I love doing more things like this where I can talk, why did I do this? Freely. It is freely, you idiot. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I think we're just gonna jump right into it and I have to say this is obviously not anything personal towards each member this is just based based off of their song uh, nothing against the members so please don't roast me for that I love every single Luna member like so much um, and it's weird to think about like I don't know three months ago I didn't know anything about Luna. Now I pretty much know everything. <laughs> so nothing on them at all. This is just based off of my liking towards their songs. Right. So starting with number 12. Um, like the song is good, but I don't know. It's not for my liking, even though I can, I can say that this is like it's a slow song. I like slow songs in K-pop, but this slow song, I don't know. It's too slow, maybe. I don't know. But it is Hyunjin with Around You. I love Hyunjin. She is an amazing vocalist. She's a good rapper as well. Uh, but this song, I don't know. It's not It's not doing her any favors, I think. It, it does bring out her good vocals, but I think it could have done that more with another song, a different song, if that makes sense. So number 12, I'm so sorry, Hyunjin, but it's around you. Yeah. Well, maybe I should listen to 
a little bit more than just over the chorus because her, her song in the music video is like very um, toned down onto like a certain point, which is kind of weird. Well, I mean, it's supposed to because it's supposed to like playing on the radio or something, but <laughs> I don't know. But Hyun Jin, I rant you. Place 12. So, unfortunately, my least favorite Luna solo song. Oh, I love the cats though. <laughs> and the music video is so weird. I mean, her voice sounds really good. The song is just, it's not for me, you know? <laughs> I actually don't mind the muted down sound here, and then it goes up again when she opens the door or something. <laughs> there, we're one and a half minutes in and now we can fully hear the song. Right, the song is good. It's really good, but it's still my, it's still my least favorite out of the solo songs. But that it's because <laughs> Luna solo songs, like the pre debut solo songs, everyone is like, it's really good. So that's why this song is like my least favorite. Okay, next one, number eleven. Right, um, I adore this member so much especially after I watched or like reacted to the weekly idol episode with Luna. So it's Gulwon and her song One and Only. Um, the song is pretty good, uh, but there are some parts that like the sound, I don't know, this sounds kind of weird to me. Maybe it's just like the way that the song is built, um, but I don't know. I think the chorus pretty catchy but like the rapping parts right before the chorus I'm not a big fan of that so that is why Go One gets place 11 I'm so sorry I feel so bad <laughs> but like I love Go One she's oh, she looks like a doll <laughs> she's so adorable and she's a good dancer and she's a good rapper as well and yeah singer <laughs> Go One is talented okay Okay, so go one, one and only. Let's go. Place nine, eleven. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> nine. I really like the music video. That's like, yeah. This part is really good. I like this a lot. This part and the chorus. She looks so good. I think it is, yeah. Oh, she's so 
pretty. It's insane. All right, okay. Um, I think it is the wrapping, which is very sad because Gowen is a good wrapper. Uh, but it's something about the tone on the of the wrapping, or like it's almost like muted in a way. I don't, I can't ex describe it. I'm a terrible describer. <laughs> but oh, yeah, I feel just feel like the song is lacking something. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, that was yeah number eleven. That was goal one, and now ten um which is one of the cutest persons alive and that is Georgian uh and her song kiss later that is number 10 for me um and I for me it's like it's kind of weird that I like it more than Hyunjin and Gohun's song but I do it's pretty damn catchy actually uh but it's like it's super like bubblegum pop which is not usually my type of music like my liking in K-pop music, but it really, really works for Georgian though. It really does. And the music video is, it's so goofy and hilarious, but so cute as well. It's a weird combination. <laughs> okay, so Georgian with Kiss Later, number 10. Forgot that I had tea. And I find it so weird that her voice is so light, like high-pitched when she's singing. But her talking voice is like, it's just, it's got a deep voice, dude, when she's talking. It's weird. Okay, I actually forgot how much I like this song. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. Okay, stopping there. See, I don't don't even want to end that song. So, I, did I make a mistake? Do I actually like this one better than the next one that I'm going to announce? Now, I don't know. Maybe I do. Nah, I was thinking so hard on my list. So, I don't think I do. But maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next one. Number nine. That is... Hustle with Let Me In uh, And again, this is a very, this is a, It's not even a ballad, is it? It's a slow song, but it's not quite a ballad I don't really know what the definition of a ballad is <laughs> But it's good it, This song suits Hustle so good She has an amazing uh, voice for songs like this Very powerful um, Yeah, this is a great song for Hustle um, But it's not a song that I listen to, ever. <laughs> no. I don't think I've listened to it since like my, 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 like Luna series. Uh, but I haven't with any of these songs like that I've talked about now. Like Hyunjin, Gobon, Yojin or Hustle. But yeah, but I really like the chorus. I think that that's why it's better than the previous ones I've mentioned now. So I think the chorus is what gets me in this song and her amazing vocals of course okay so number nine is hustle with let me in 
Mitski. I was very confused by the music video when I first first watched it. <laughs> and the music video is beautifully shot. It is, I think it was shot in Iceland, right? I think I actually I do like it better than Yojin, so I did get the ranking right. <laughs> but it's so difficult to weigh songs up against against each other when they're so different, you know. Yeah, the chorus is so good. Yeah, okay, yeah. I have to like stop myself. <laughs> it's, it's hard, but it's gonna be a freaking long video if I'm gonna watch the whole thing. So, next one, we're at number eight. Um, This song, number eight, is always the song that gets stuck in my head with like all of their solo songs. This one gets stuck in my head every single time. Uh, it's very catchy, not usually my type of song at all, but <laughs> it's good and it is it is by the gorgeous vv and her song every day i love you featuring hasu oh wow um it's freaking good yeah and i feel like it's it's also like the perfect song for vv because vv is adorable <laughs> okay so number eight vv with every day i love you It's gay. And people have been telling me that like the guy she's seeing is supposed to be Eve. <laughs> because Vivi was in Eve's music video as well. Robo skating. Vivi is so gorgeous and I love her pink hair. She she should really go back to her like pink hair. It looks so good. He's cute though. The chorus is so good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's so adorable. Um, this song is freaking good. And as I said, no, it's not usually my liking in K-pop songs, but it's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is about it, but it, yeah, definitely the chorus. So good. Okay, next one. Seven? Yeah. Um, This, I had to think hard about. Place seven and six, they were like battling towards each other so much. And I, yeah, it took me a while to figure that out, which one I like the most. But number seven, it is... Jinsel and singing in the rain. I love, I think this is my favorite music video out of all of them. I love the music video, it, it's genius. Um, 
so beautifully made with all the like aquariums and the dancing in the like the rain yeah you can never go wrong with that and yeah i love jean so so much and the fact that she does her own rapping in the song gives her extra point because in other songs from luna solo songs some other people have been doing the rap break ah not chu actually chu also did her own rapping um but yeah so number seven is jin song with singing in the rain but i think what's what the song is lacking for me is actually the chorus i like the verses better than the actual chorus in this song even though they like the beat and like the instrumental sound is very good but i think for me the chorus is lacking something yeah that is number seven, Chin Song with Singing in the Rain. Let's go. Yeah, hands down my favorite music video out of all 12. This is my favorite part of the song. Oh, the outfit is so good. Right here, it's insane. It looks so good. <gasps> I want to hear the rapping as well. my opinion Jin Sol is the best rapper of the group mm, yeah mm, yeah <laughs> I really like He Jin is a good rapper as well and also oh, there's so many good rappers there Olivia is a good rapper as well and Shady and Go Won but I think I like Jin Sol's rapping the most actually but yeah that was number seven now for number six and as I said number six and seven were like battling towards each other so the songs that I like tiny bit better than Jin Sol singing in the rain is He Jin with Vivid. This song I don't think I liked it much when I first heard it because it's different. It's so different um but it's good. It's good different like and yeah He Jin has some amazing vocals. Uh she's an amazing singer and the song yeah the song is really really freaking catchy. It is and I feel like it was a good song for like because this was the first solo song from Luna, so I feel like this is a good choice because I think it got people really interested in Luna. We're like, whoa, what is this? Like, yeah, but it's yeah, it's so good. <laughs> okay, so number that was six, Hyejin with Vivid. Let's go. And it again, this song suits her voice so good. Very like Alice in Wonderland vibes. I learned that from form of therapy actually because <laughs> I didn't pick up on that at all when I first watched it
this gets me like in such a good mood. This song. Oh, it's so good. Um, oh, I love Heejin. She was my actually my first impression. I call it first impression bias because that's like the person I'm gravitating most towards when I'm first getting into a group without like knowing their personalities or anything. <laughs> it sounded like I didn't. <laughs> it sounded like Heejin doesn't have a good personality. She really does. But she was like my first impression bias because it's an amazing. She's an amazing vocalist, amazing rapper, sick dancer. So yeah, she was my like, first impression bias in the group. And her song Vivid, it's fantastic. But it's still like <laughs> play six. That's because the other ones are a tiny bit better. Okay, now for number for number five. I had the same problem here with number five and four. I didn't know who I liked the most out of these two. But I landed on Eve and her song New for number five. This is a good song. Um, I love the heavy instrumental in the song and yeah, it, it's just so good. <laughs> I feel like I'm running out of words to describe how much I like each song. <laughs> okay, so number five, it is Eve with New. Let's go. She was also my bias at one point. She still kind of is, but there is this other member. I'll tell you when I get to her that I'm just obsessed with. I think I have two biases, Eve and another one. She's absolutely gorgeous. And her voice is amazing. I feel like at this point I'm just watching and being like <laughs> mesmerized. I forget to comment. Um, but yeah, Eve, my girl Eve with New was number five. Now, number four, um, which I like like so much more than Eve's song. And it is Cherry with Love Cherry Motion. Um, it's such a good song. Uh, even though the chorus is like cutesy-ish, I uh, like that love cherry emotion part. It's so catchy and then the freaking non-expected um, change up, like the heavy change up in the music after the chorus. So good. Uh, so yeah, number four is Cherry with love cherry emotion. Let's go. This is also like a very mood setter for me. If I'm like in a ma bad mood, mad mood, um, I can listen to this song and forget about everything. It's a very feel good song for me. A to Z, that was in a All Die Circle song as well.
Then she's eating the cherry and it's so good. And it's like you never expect it. Well, now I do because I've watched it before. But when you first watch this, you're like, what was that? Yeah, and she teleported something. Okay. Right. Oh, I love Cherry. But now we're getting into, it's getting serious. We are in four top three. And as I said, this is easy for me. Top three is very easy. Um, and I want you, before you watch the, watch the rest, I want you to guess uh, what you think my top three is. Because we have three left without saying the <laughs> the order I'm picked. We have, or maybe I'm saying the order, you don't know yet. We have Kim Lip, Chu, and Olivia. Um, and my number three is Olivia. Um, yeah, I th think this song took me like a few listens to like really get into, but when I did, Dude, I was into it. Like, it's really freaking good. And yeah, such a perfect song for Olivia Hay as well. It truly is. So, number three is, for me is Olivia with Egoist. Futuring Jin Soo. It's good. But I feel like Olivia could have easily have done her own rapping in, in this as well because she's a, such a good rapper. But... So I don't know if, like, why Blockberry Creative decided to have some other members do some rap parts. I love Olivia's voice. And it sounds deep here. Olivia's voice is usually more like high-pitched, almost. Like here. This pre chorus is so good. Like the instrumental is so in interesting here, but it, it fits the song so well. Shinzo! I just had to hear the <laughs> rapping from Jin Song. Okay, yeah, that was Olivia Hay, and that is number three for me. Now, top two. Um, yeah, it's between Chu and Kim Lip. Uh, and yeah, one of these songs I was like instantly in love with, and that is the song that is for me number one. And the other one, actually, it's so insane to think about that now that. I wasn't, I liked it the first time, but it took me a few listens to like really love it, which is insane because I like, I am obsessed with this song right now. And I actually think that I'm listening to number two more than number one at the moment. But I think the reason for that is because I listened to number one so much when I first heard it. And I was like later obsessed with my number two. So I think that's the reason. Uh, but yeah, 
number two for me is kim lip and eclipse it's such a good song and <laughs> i'm always blown away by kim lip's vocals always even though i'm no she's an amazing vocalist she always blows me away and this song is no exception and yeah again blockberry created did great with choosing each song to each member because this is the perfect song for kim lip truly is Okay, so my number two is Kim Lip with Eclipse. Let's go. I didn't know that before, but this is where Stray Kids shot their elevator, like the music video for elevator. I learned that from form of therapy as well. <laughs> I swear I can listen to Kim Lip's voice until I die. And I'm just like in general obsessed with Kim Lip these days. And I've been since my Luna series. <laughs> This like sultry dance moves. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I love Kim Lip so much. It's insane. Oh, yeah. Gem, I wish, um, I hope the solo, the solo members, the Luna members get to do more solo stuff in the future. Ah, oh, because, yeah, it's just so good. But anyways, that was number two and now number one you already know who it is it's my girl chew and heart attack and as i said i think this is the only song out of all the members that i was like instantly obsessed with from the very first second i i can try and find my reaction um from like when i first heard heart attack by chew but yeah Ooh. I think so far, this is my favorite solo song. Ooh. Yeah, I like this a lot. She also happens to be my bias because she is the cutest thing alive. Um, she's extremely vocally talented and she's a really good dancer and she can rap. Uh, and her song Heart Attack is... <sighs> I love it so much. It's so freaking good. Um, and it's really funny because when I started my Luna series and started watching the solo songs, People told me that I they thought I would really like Kim Lips Eclipse, Olivia Hayes Egoist, which I do, they're number two and three on the list. Um Eve's New, Jean Saw Singing in the Rain. That was like the four songs that like 
based off of my personal preference in K-pop music, they thought I would like those like the best. And my favorite is freaking <laughs> Chew with Heart Attack. But I don't know what it is about this song, but I love also, I love every second of this song. Um, I also do that with Kim Lips Eclipse though. <laughs> but for me, Heart Attack got that little extra bit that I just love. It's such a good song. <laughs> Okay, so number one for me, my favorite Luna solo song is Chew with Heart Attack. It's okay. If you watched my Luna series, you knew that already because I think I said it like a hundred times. Yes, I am. This song also gets me in like the best mood. Damn. <sighs> That's one of my favorite ships in Luna, Eve and Chu. I just have to hear the rapping as well because that's pretty good. I have to hear the chorus again. <laughs> okay, I have to stop myself. It's such a good song. And yes, it is weird that I like it more than Kim Lips Eclipse based off of my usual liking in K-pop music. But I don't know what it is about this song that I love so much, but I do. And yeah, I think it's just a mix mixture of Chu's amazing vocals, her rapping part is fire, uh, and the beat of the song, like the chorus, everything. It's so good. Okay, that was a freaking long video that was my top 10 God, the fuck? that was my <laughs> that was me ranking luna pre-debut solo songs okay i've been i've been thinking and i have a clay to i have to make a small change in my ranking um and it is i have to change hijin and eve i actually like vivid better than new um, I was actually thinking about it while reacting to it in this video as well, but then I was like, ah, do I actually like it better? I do. Vivid is better than you, in my opinion. Um, so I'm, I can make a, like a list. So here is my final ranking. So it's from bottom. For my least favorite to my favorite is Hyunjin, Gobon, Yorjin, Hasu, Vivi, Jinsel, Eve, Hijin, Cherry, Olivia, Kim Lip, and Chu. That is my final ranking. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I forgot to say, I didn't even watch, I haven't yet watch, watched K Junkies 
video on this because I'm very very easily influenced by other people's opinion so I wanted to do this myself before I watched theirs but I'm gonna do it right now uh, because I'm very excited to see what ranking they had to see how different it is from mine um yeah I also would love to see your guys's ranking of Luna's solo songs so please if you're able to list from 12 to number one down below i would love to see how different we are okay i hope you like this video i enjoyed filming it so much and let me know if there's some other things you want me to rank or anything videos like this let me know and as always before you leave this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys again another time bye